Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons. This video is going to be about uh, ABO blood group system and x link trait, that is color blindness. And here is the problem. A colorblind man of blood group O marries a normal visioned woman of blood group AB whose father was colorblind. And uh, question A, if they have four sons, what will these sons most probably be in regard to vision and blood group? So, um, how we are going to solve this problem? First of all, we have to list genotypes of the parents because here we have uh, phenotypes. Uh, male is uh, blood group O and female is blood group AB. So, uh, genotype for the male in regards of the blood group would be O, O because uh, only one genotype makes this phenotype and blood group AB is made also by one genotype that is A and B. So this is going to be female on this side and male on this side. So we are building a Punnett square and as you see all the progeny going to be of the two blood groups. Blood group A and blood group B. So now we know that all the progeny can belong to only two blood groups, phenotypic blood group A and phenotypic blood group B, because um, allele O is recessive to both allele A and allele B. Now let's consider the probability for the progeny to get this uh, genetic disorder that is called blindness and uh, it is X-link uh, trait. We know that a man is colorblind, that means that he has to have one defective allele on the X-link, on the X chromosome. So uh, this is going to be defective X chromosome and uh, a normal Y chromosome. So XY, this is genotype of the male. And female, uh, we know that uh, her that she uh, her vision is normal, but her father was uh, color blind. So what does it mean that her father genotype was just the same as her um, husband, and uh, he had uh, X chromosome with defective uh, allele for the color blindness, and uh, her mother were of the normal genotype. So as you see when we built the Punnett square um, the genotypes of the progeny in her family were as follows. So one normal allele from the mother and uh, one defective X chromosome from the father side and one normal allele from the mother side and one defective allele uh, from the father side. And as you see, all the male progeny in her family were normal. So, as you see, 100% uh, of the girls in her family are obligate uh, carriers of this genetic disorder. So now we can solve uh, finally our problem. So we know genotypes of the mother and of the father. So once again father would be affected with this genetic disorder so his genotype would be X and Y and white color here stands for the defective um, chromosome or defective gene on this uh, chromosome and mother's genotype would be uh, X defective uh, allele would be on one of her X chromosomes and one normal X chromosome. So uh, as you see once again when we build the Punnett square we can find out the probability for the progeny to be carriers or to be affected with this genetic disorder. So as you see 50% of the um, female progeny would be affected with this genetic disorder. Females also can be affected with this genetic disorder 
colorblindness when they would have this genetic disorder on both X chromosomes from the father side and from the mother side. 50% of the daughters in this family would be carriers but wouldn't be affected. And as you see, 50% uh, of the males would be uh, also affected with this genetic disorder, though they have only one defective X chromosome, but they don't have another X normal X chromosome to balance this recessive genetic disorder. So in males, this recessive genetic disorder behaves as um, dominant genetic disorder. So, and uh, the last genotype would be one normal X chromosome and Y chromosome from the father side. So, as you see, 50% uh, chances that uh, male progeny would be uh, affected with this genetic disorder and 50% uh, chances that uh, males in this family wouldn't have this genetic disorder. So our answer to this question would be 50% uh, normal and 50% of the male progeny would have uh, this genetic disorder. And now let's uh, answer the second question. Question B. If the parents had four daughters, what would they most probably be? And as you see, they have the same chances for the daughters, uh, so 50% would be affected with this genetic disorder and 50% wouldn't be affected but would be carriers. So uh, if we uh, talk about phenotype, uh, the answer once again would be the same as above. 50% would be normal and 50% would express this genetic disorder, but this phenotypically normal daughters would be carriers of this genetic disorder. And as for the blood type, as you see, 50% of the progeny, regardless of the sex, would belong to the blood group A, and 50% of the progeny would belong to blood group B. And this is true as for the uh, females and as for the males. So only two type of blood group are possible in the progeny of these two parents. In other words, we can say that 50% of the male progeny that is going to be uh, normal for the trait vision would belong to the blood group A or 25% of the total and 25% of the total belong to the blood group B. And uh, those who have uh, problems with their visions or colorblind, 25% would be uh, blood group A and 25% would be blood group B. And the same rule applies for the uh, female progeny. So 25 plus 25% here and 25 plus 25% here. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.